Hello and welcome to my five round quiz. Now this is a special edition for the younger players. So very quickly before we begin, if you were here for my regular six round quiz, six round pub quiz, don't worry, that has also been released at exactly the same time as this video. So if you go to my channel page, you will find it on there. And if you'd like to try this one, I will put a link to that at the end of this video. So this quiz, the questions are aimed at sort of teenagers to early 20s. But don't worry, if you are younger than that, there'll be plenty of questions on here that you know. So let's have a look at the five rounds in this quiz. Round one is a picture round. Round two is slang words. Round three is film and TV. Round four is a video game round. And the final round is general knowledge. So if you are new to my channel, the format is you'll get two rounds and then the answers, another two rounds and the answers, and in this one, the final round and then the answers. So if you want to keep track of your score, go and get yourself a pen and paper. It will just make your life a whole lot easier. So I hope you all enjoy and best of luck. Round one is the picture round, and there are 10 pictures in this round. Number one, name the singer. Number two, name the actor. And number three, name the sportsman. Number four, name the dinosaur. And number five, this is the logo for which channel? Number six, name the wrestler. And number seven, name the YouTuber. Number eight, name the Pokemon. Number 10 is the national flag of which country? And number 10, the last one, what is this a close up of? Round two is the slang words rounds. The way this round will work, in the middle of your screen you will see a word. You just have to tell me what it means for the younger generation. Now it is multiple choice, there are three to choose from, and you have around 15 seconds for each one. Good luck to you all.
The answers to round one, number one, the singer is Ariana Grande. And number two, the actor is Tom Holland. And number three, the sportsman is a very famous girlfriend. It is Travis Kels. And number four, the type of dinosaur is an Ankylosaurus. Number five is the logo for Coca Melon. And number six, the wrestler is Seth Rawlins. And number seven, the YouTuber is Dan TTM. TDM, sorry. And number eight, the Pokemon is Eevee. Number nine is the national flag of Mexico. Which leaves number 10, the close up. It is a close up of a Nintendo Switch. Now round two, the slang words cap is lie. And number two, Delulu. I like that one. Delulu is delusional. Number three, slaps is excellent or amazing. And number four, the acronym BRB is for Be Right Back. Number five, Riz is charisma. And number six, mid. Mid is below average. And number seven, the acronym GOAT is the greatest of all time. Number eight, yeet, is throwing something. And number nine, bay, bay, I think I said that correctly, is refer referring to a boyfriend or girlfriend. And the last acronym is IYKYK, is quite fittingly, if you know, you know. Round three is the film and TV round, and there are 10 questions in this round. Number one, complete the title of this 2022 film, Lyle, Lyle, blank. Fill in the blank. And number two, in the cartoon Bluey, is Bluey a boy or a girl? And number three, Wade Wilson is the real name of which Marvel character? Number four, in the Harry Potter universe, at what age do you receive your Hogwarts acceptance letter? Is it nine, 10 or 11? Number five, name the Disney song from these lyrics. Kid, honestly, I could go on and on. I could explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. Oh, that which is married just messing around. I killed an eel, I buried its guts. Sprouted a tree, now you've got coconuts. And number six, this symbol is associated with which film series? Number seven, name the TV show. Number eight, which Paw Patrol character is a spotty Dalmatian?
Number 9. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, is a name and address associated with which film? And the last one, number 10. P.T. Barnum, Ann Wheeler and Letty Lutz are characters in which 2017 film? Round four is the video game round. Very easy rounds. It's just 10 questions all about video games. So number one, Brookhaven adopts me and Meet City are games within which video game? And number two, name the game from this logo. Number three, three male players in the game FIFA 24 have an overall ranking of 91. Name any two of them. Number four, Vanguard and Black Ops are titles in which video game series? And number five, name the video game from this close up. And number six, Undercity, Stormwind and Thunderbluff are locations in which game? Number seven, name the game. And number eight, in gaming, what does the acronym AFK stand for? Number nine, Kratos is a character in which game? And the last one, number 10. In the game Fortnite, how many healing health points does a single bandage give you? 5, 10 or 15? The answers are round 3. Number 1, this film is Lyle Lyle Crocodile. And number 2, Bluey is a girl. And number three, Wade Wilson is the real name of Deadpool. Number four, how old are you when you receive your Hogwarts acceptance letter? The answer is 11. And number five, these are the lyrics in the song, You're Welcome. And number six, this symbol is associated with the Hunger Games series. Number seven, the TV show. My daughter loved this one. It's Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And number eight, the Paw Patrol character that is a spotted Dalmatian is Marshall. Number nine, P. Sherman, 42, Wallaby Way, Sydney, is from Finding Nemo. And the last one, number 10, these three are characters in The Greatest Showman.
answers for round four. Number one, the Brookhaven Adopt Me and Meep City are in Roblox. And number two is the logo for Rocket League. And number three, the three male players with a ranking of 91. If you named any two from Kylian Mbappe, Erlin Haaland, or Kevin De Bruyne, you have the points. And well done. Number four, Vanguard and Black Ops are titles in the Call of Duty series. And number five is a close up of Mario Kart. Number six, Undercity, Stormwind, and Thunder Bluff are locations in World of Warcraft. Number seven, that game is Animal Crossing. I think the particular one is New Horizons. Uh, number eight, the acronym AFK stands for Away from Keyboard. And number nine, Kratos, I hope I'm saying that correctly, is from God of War. And the last one, a single bandage in Fortnite gives you 15 healing points. Round five, the final round is general knowledge, and there are 10 questions in this round. Number one, what is the process by which plants transform light energy into chemical energy? And number two, in which year did we land on the moon? The first time we landed on the moon. And number three, what is the largest ocean in the world? Number four. Traditionally, how many wrestlers compete in the Royal Rumble? And number five. Who is credited with inventing the light bulb? And number six, Bern is the capital of which European country? Number seven, an adult human usually has how many teeth? 32 or 36? Number eight, the collective noun for which animal is called a tower. And number nine, approximately how fast does the earth spin? 500 miles per hour or 1000 miles per hour? And the last one, number 10. What number do the opposite size of a dice always add up to? The answers around five, number one. The process is photosynthesis. And number two, the year we first landed on the moon is 1969. 
Number three, the largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. And number four, the number of wrestlers in the Royal Rumble traditionally is 30. And number five, the person credited with inventing the light bulb is Thomas Edison. Number six, this was a difficult one. Bern is the capital of Switzerland. Very well done if you got that one. And number seven, an adult human usually has 32 teeth. And number eight, the tower is for a group of giraffes. Number nine, the earth spins at 1,000 miles per hour. And the last one, number 10, the two opposite sides of a dice always add up to seven. That's the end of the quiz. A big thank you for playing. I do hope you had fun. And if you are one of the younger players who played this quiz, let me know in the comments what you thought. So it's definitely something I would do again, uh, particularly at Christmas time. I would definitely, definitely do one for Christmas. So if you had any suggestions, any rounds that you would have liked to see in this quiz, let me know and it'll let me build up a picture on what to do for the next one. So again, to everybody, thank you for playing. Have a great weekend and bye bye.